What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is my spaceship and in this video we are going to create something like this here with geometry nodes. Mm, the technique is from an um, artist called Mantissa. He's got a YouTube channel and super useful stuff about geometry nodes. Got a lot of inspiration um, from it when I started with Blender and super cool stuff. Um, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. And yeah, um, this was created in an older version of Blender. I think it was 2.8 or 2.9. They changed some stuff with the geometry nodes so the old setup uh, doesn't work in the newer version. So um, I found a video from Mantissa where he describes how to create this in uh, the newer Blender version. Um, I think it was in a live stream from him um, and the stream is also available as video on his channel so if you like check it out and um, yeah so we are going to create this um, geometry nodes in the 3.0 version of Blender and yeah as you can see you can create really dope stuff super detailed Okay, let's open up Blender and prepare our file and start with the geometry nodes. Okay, we are in Blender version 3.31, in case that's useful information for you. Yeah, I think I got the version numbers twisted in the beginning, but uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's delete everything that is in here. We press A to uh, select everything and press X and delete. And we are going to use our human generator for this. So I press N to uh, show the sidebar. Mm, where is it? Human generator. Let's create a male model. And create new human. Let's bring this to the side here so you can see it. Um, we are leaving the body as it is. And click finish creation phase. Okay, so now we got our body. Now I'm going to delete um, something from the mesh here. We want the geometry nodes to only uh, affect the head and the neck and yes, a bit of the shoulders. So I'm going into the side view, press tab to get into edit mode. Um, you need to select the body and then press tab to get into edit mode to the side view. And we need to um, enable a toggle X-ray here. Use the select box and just delete parts of the mesh that we don't want right now. So delete faces, just press X and delete faces. Mm, we can, yeah, we leave it like this for now, that's fine. And to get rid of the bones and everything, uh, we don't need them. We can separate the mesh. Um, so press A to select everything, right click, um, click on split, right click, separate and separate by selection. And we can right click again and convert to mesh. But we need to get into object mode. So press tab, get back to object mode, right click and convert to mesh. Okay, let's open our collection real quick here and delete everything that we don't need. So we just created the HG body number two. So we can uh, select everything else and press X to delete it. Okay, now we got um, our separated mesh here so we can work with this. So I press N to hide that menu on the side. So now we got a mesh to work with. Um, let's drag this window up here and choose geometry nodes. There it is. Let's create a new geometry node, press new. First thing we need is uh, distribute points on faces. So shift A search distribute points on faces, drag this in the middle, we need an um, instance on points, instance on points, drag this in the middle. Then we need a realize instance, drag this there, 
and uh, geometry proximity. There it is. Drag this here. And a uh, set position. Position into the position. Geometry to geometry. I'll take the um, group output, the first node here, and drag it into the set position geometry. Okay, I will press uh, control spacebar on the geometry nodes so we can see a little bit better what's happening here. Okay, let's create an icosphere, shift A, icosphere. Let's drag this a little bit to the side so we got more space here to work with. So the icosphere is here. We need a join geometry. Um, drag the icosphere into the join geometry. The join geometry, geometry <laughs> into the instance from the instance on points. And we need a transform node. Transform, let's place this under the join geometry. Um, drag the icosphere mesh into the geometry. And the geometry into the join geometry. So it looks something like this. And we want to give the instance on point some random values. So we search for random random value, duplicate this one with shift D, change the first one to vector and change the max to something like three and drag the value into the rotation um, change the values from the random value um, node number two to uh, 0 0.2 and one and drag this into the scale. And we need a value node to control the um, all numbers from the scale and you can type in something like 0 0.05 okay let's see what we get here um, I press control spacebar on uh, the geometry nodes and we got something like this so now we need a wireframe modifier and uh, uncheck the even so we get something like this and now we can play around with the values. So get back to the geometry nodes. You can um, select it here on the side and you get your geometry nodes back. Uh, but before we do that, we um, are going to change the mesh a bit. So let's um, disable our wireframe and geometry nodes. Um, select our model, go over to object data properties, to remesh, quad remesh, and let's remesh our model because as you can see um, these are bigger than uh, the ones in the face and we want a more evenly distributed face size so let's get back into object mode select our model um, go over to remesh quad remesh and quad reflow remesh and these are the settings i got so 4000 faces and use mesh symmetry let's do this so now we got something like this and let's um, enable our geometry nodes again and the wireframe. Let's add a subdivision surface before the geometry nodes and the wireframe modifier. So I'm just disabling this for now and add a subdivision surface. You can leave this at level one and let's enable our wireframe and geometry nodes again select the geometry nodes uh, we're going to change the density to 20 and now we can play around with the radius from the icosphere till we see something like a face again yeah 0.34 let's leave it at that for now and now we can uh, decrease the wireframe uh, thickness till we get a mesh that is uh, looks nice. So it all depends on the model you are using and the mesh you are working with. So these are the values I would play around, like the distribute points on faces, density, the icosphere size, and yeah, the wireframe modifier uh, thickness. Okay. 
this is what we got now. Okay, let's create a quick scene. Um, I'm going to duplicate this workspace. Right click and duplicate. Um, right click on here and join areas to drag this out to the side. I'm going to add a camera. So I'm going to the side view, add a camera. And let's place it some way around here. <clears throat> to the top view, we'll rotate it to 180 degrees. R 180, press G and X or Y to move it around. I'm going into the camera view. And let's change the aspect ratio. So we go to render properties. And let's make it um, like 4,000 to 5,000. Move the camera a little bit closer. Now we are going to change the render engine to cycles. Let's see what we got so far. Okay, we are going to add a light. So shift A, add a uh, area light, press G and Z to move it up. Has to scale it down a bit. We go into the side view. Shift D to duplicate it, R to rotate, scale it up a bit uh, from for the area light that's on top of our model we are going to decrease the spread to something like 100 so we got more um, sharper shadows and um, we can delete the material that's on the um, our model because this is still the human generator stuff so let's delete this I'm going to duplicate this workspace again now we got another workspace where we can change the this one here to shader editor. Press N to hide that stuff on the side. And let's go into the world settings. Make it black. Okay, now we can find a good angle. Um, choose the camera. And let's move around a bit. Also going into the camera settings under viewport display and decrease the pass per two to one. And yeah, this is basically it. You can play around with the values um, depending on your mesh. You get a lot of different results. Um, yeah, this is basically how it works. So yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you like this one. Um, if you do, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, peace. Have a nice day.